Hey everybody. So it is episode 14 of Motivation with Me. And I know y'all like, um, sis, it's a whole new year. Like it's 2021. Where you been? Like we haven't heard from you since June of 2020 for your father Father's Day video. I know. I'm so sorry. I'm getting back on it. I'm getting back into the groove of things. Life just, life comes. You know, we all had a rough 2020. I have two businesses. I have a nonprofit. I now have a boyfriend, but we will get into that later in later videos. But it's just been a lot going on, you know, but I'm so excited to be back on my YouTube channel. I miss my YouTube channel so much because I just miss being real and raw and unfiltered and just giving the game and motivating and talking about different topics. So per request, I want to talk about congratulating everybody for making it through 2020. Okay, because 2020 was rough. It was rough for all of us. Like, everybody had something going on in 22. Yes, we have coronavirus going on. We have um, loss of family members, of friends. We had kicking Orange Face out the White House and bringing in Biden. We had just everything the media like it's just so much quarantine no the lack of social interaction like there was so much going on in 2020 like mental health issues we have problems with students not being able to go to school messing up their their socialism i now work at yes prep so i work now at a high school and I just got the job back in August because my calling is to work with teenagers. So I just got a new job and just watching these kids on a day-to-day -day basis is, it just changed my whole perspective on things. Like the ones that are virtual, they really want to be in school. But of course the parent makes the decision, but they are struggling like they are struggling as far as their grades their attitude the, their attention like they are really struggling out here because they want to be in school they want to be with their peers like doing school virtual doing work virtual is complicated like it's hard on some people especially when you need especially when you work in a positive environment and you love your coworkers, like i do so it's hard to have to work virtual, do everything virtual, attend virtual events. Like, it's hard. And, you know, in 2020, we had to struggle with that. And I say had to because I am bringing forth positivity and prosperity in 2021. Like, we're, we're leaving all of that in 2020. And I'm going to do a separate video on motivation for 2021. But I just wanted to get on real quick, real short little uh, video for episode 14 and just congratulate everybody for getting through 2020. Like, sis, you made it. Bro, you made it. Okay? We made it. <laughs> like, we made it to the finish line. Everybody was like, oh, my God, just throw the whole year away. Like, I know I was struggling. Like, okay, I'm just ready to get this over with, to move into a new year. And we we actually think being in a new year doesn't make a difference, but it really does. It's just like only thing changes is the date. No, you have a different mindset, you know, and I don't really like to call it New Year's resolutions, but you go into a new year with a new mindset that you have set for yourself beforehand, before 2021 comes. Like, mine was peace and prosperity. I want to go into 2021 with peace and prosperity. So, again, I'm going to touch more on motivation in 2021, but I just wanted to congratulate all of us. Like, I just want to, let's just get a round of applause for 2020 and for making it through. Just Like, look, I'm going to have a whole praise session because we made it, y'all. We made it. I don't care what you, like, I care what you went, what you went through, but I don't care what 2020 did to you. You are great. 
you are going to be able to move past this. Yes, it hurt. Yes, we dealt with so much. You know, I lost family members. My friends have dealt with so much, like, but I've seen them push through. Like, I've watched people on Facebook and on social media push through 2020. No, it was hard. It was hard for everybody, and it affected people in different ways. It affected everybody in a different way, okay? And we're going to pause real quick and not acknowledge the fact that my hair is uneven. Okay? Yes, I know. So don't judge me because that's not what y'all going to do. Because y'all know <laughs> it's motivational with me coming back in 2021. But let me tell you how my sense of humor and my attitude, my unfiltered, this has not changed. Because, again, this is the unfiltered motivational channel. But, anywho, um, getting back to 2020. I just got to congratulate everybody. I got to give love to everybody. I got to give support to everybody. Like, just hugs and kisses. Just, mwah. like, just all the love I wish I can give to y'all in person. I'm giving it to you through this video. Because we pushed through it. We made it. Like, we reached the end. And we made it into a new year. And, you know, rest, rest easy and in peace for those who didn't make it into 2021. You know, there were we lost a lot of lives with coronavirus. We lost a lot of lives just in general with everything that's going on with George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. Like, we have went through so much, like, with Black Lives Matter, this foolery that they did at the Capitol, like, dealing with Trump and his foolishness. Like, I can go all day about how the stuff, the stuff we deal, dealt with in 2020. Like, it was ridiculous. Like, 2020 was not our year. <laughs> like, it just, it was nobody's year. But despite having to go through all of that, we still made it, though. And you may be having a hard time going into 2021. And that's okay. But I want you to shift your mindset. Okay, that's why I'm congratulating you and I'm happy that you did make it through 2020. Like, we made it through 2020. So, in 2021, we're going to bring better. We're going to come harder. We're going to come stronger. Like, first of all, let me acknowledge the fact that we got a black and Asian and Indian, I think, if I mess it up, I'm putting it in the, across the screen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kamala. I really am. But anyway, we got a black female vice president. Period. That that's what it is. That's that's <laughs> like that's that's what it is. Sis got a black female. Female. Okay. Woman. We have a woman of minority woman as vice president. Let's clap for that too. Okay, on period. <laughs> like Biden and Harris all day. But I don't discuss politics. I just want to acknowledge that fact that we have reached a whole nother level. Black president, black female vice president, and we're going to have a black female president. I'm claiming it. I'm calling it because we are great and black girls have magic. So... All the things that happened that were negative in 2020, we want to remember the positive things that happened in 2020 because they were there were a lot of things positive that happened in 2020. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about, because yes, I still give homework, okay? Nothing's changed. I still give homework. I want you to... And you can do this mentally or you can write it down, but I want you to really think about the things that you had to deal with and struggle with and the negative things that came upon your life in 2020, okay? And then I also want you to think about the positive things that came in 2020, Okay, whether it was the start of a new business, whether it was just relaxing and having self-care and starting back reading or joining a book club or just anything like reaching an accomplishment, reaching a goal. Like I know a lot of my friends who have reached their goals, like they set goals in 2020. Matter of fact, I'm going to pull it out just in case any of them are actually watching this. I know Christian is. Love you, Christian. But I'm going to pull out... If I can find it, here it is. 
So I found in the beginning of 2020, I made all my friends do these, right? I made all of my friends do their 2020 goals. Okay. All of my friends did their 2020 goals. And I and I held them accountable. Like I'm gonna hold you accountable for your 2020 goals. And I am happy to say that a lot of my friends, or pretty much mostly everybody on this list, reached their goals for 2020 and their deadlines for it. You know, I don't want to specifically call out people's goals, but I made them do that in the beginning of the year and boom, bam, they did it. And I'm proud of you. Like to all my friends and my sisters out there that came to me with their goals and reached them and are still to this day reaching them. I am so proud of you. Like, let me just say that I am proud of anybody who set goals in 2020 and you reached your goal. And even if you didn't, again, that's OK. Like it, there's no time limit on it. Just long as you promise me you're going to keep going. Long as you promise me you're not going to stop pushing towards your goal. You can extend your goal. You can stop and say, hey, you know what? That's not for me. God told me that's that's not for me. So let me choose another goal. Let me choose something that matches me. You know, listen to him. Because y'all y'all already know, I, I'm very, my faith is very strong. And I am a very spiritual person. I'm a person that believes in manifestation. So if you feel like, you know, okay, well, maybe this goal wasn't for me. There's nothing wrong with that. But... For the most part, all of my friends reached their 2020 goals. Like, did I clap for y'all? It don't matter, because even if I did, I'm clapping again. <laughs> like, you did it, okay? Y'all did it. Everybody did something positive. Even if it's just waking up in the morning, okay? That's positive. Even if it's getting through the day each day all 365 days you made it through and that is worth celebrating yes we could talk about all the negative stuff that happened in 2020 we could talk about all the negative stuff in the world that's going on we could talk about all the everything that went on in 2020 from the virus to the, the economy to the stimulus checks to the president to the it's all that the foolery the fuckery Okay, because I, I cuss on this channel. The fuckery. We can talk about the fuckery. We can do all that. We can talk about the negative stuff, but we're not going to do that. Okay, we are going to talk about what we accomplished. I have a create group on Facebook and I asked him, what did you accomplish in 2020? Like, how did you, I don't care how small it was, whether it was picking up a new hobby, anything. What did you learn in 2020? What did you start in 2020? What did you grow in 2020? All that. And I wanted them to really sit and reflect on it. And then I posed the question, what did 2020 teach you? So that's another form of homework. That's another thing I want you to really reflect on, sit down and write. What did 2020 teach you? Like, what did you learn from that? For me, I learned to embrace and really sit and relish in God's blessings and your and my accomplishments because I never really just sat down and, and thought like dang like I really did that like I really did that or I've never celebrated myself like I had to sit down and really just think about all the blessings that came upon me and you know I had to I had to do a lot of soul search and I had to realign myself with my peace I had to do a lot of things and that's what 2020 taught me um, along with how to be in a relationship. <laughs> and I was talking about that in my next video. Um, but I had to learn that too, because this was single for six years. So yeah, I had to learn something new in 2022, y'all, like for real. But uh, especially as a celibate woman, let me just say that. But again, more videos coming because in 2021, I'm going to get my YouTube channel together and post more videos. I'm going to probably make them a little bit shorter depending on what topic I'm on because y'all know I can go all day. Like if the topic is good, I can go all day. Which brings me to another thing. Please, please, please tell me the topics that y'all want to talk about. What do you want to hear? What do you want to talk about? What do you need right now? Like what is it? Is there anything that you would like for me to say to you personally? Like y'all know me. Y'all know I can, I'm multifaceted. I can talk about pretty much anything. 
Like you can submit a question and I'll talk about it. So make sure that you let me know. First of all, what's this? What what wait a minute. What y'all done did to your listen? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's not what we gonna do. The afro is irrelevant. But um submit your questions. Like tell me what y'all want to hear. Drop it in the comments. Message me. Y'all always know I keep my information below. Like, let me know. And at the end of the day, as my final message, I just want to say congratulations, congratulations, y'all made it. Okay, I'm going to stop saying it. But <laughs> you made it, okay? Nigga, you made it. <laughs> like, for real, that is how I'm feeling. Like, I'm excited. And like I said, I'm glad that uh, somebody requested this because I didn't realize I was going to have so much fun with it. But congratulations, we made it out of 2020 and now we are going into 2021 and my next video that will be posted, episode 15, we're going to talk about what we want 2021 to look like. You know, what, what kind of motivation do we need in 2021? I'm going to give you motivation for 2021. So I will see y'all later. Thank you for tuning in for a quick episode, episode 14. And I love you guys. Thank you for your support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video. Thank you again for tuning into Motivation with me.